My name is Vivian Benjamin. I am married and my journey to motherhood started on the 14th of April 2015. I was there, I had my amazing son. His name is Jesse and he's four years old. I would say life happens. Yes, every woman out there really wants to have her prince charming too. Um, along her journey of life. I met my husband when I was in school. Life happened. I had um, signs of um, being pregnant before I missed my period. Like I had this metallic taste in my mouth. So that one alone gave me this tip of like something different is going on in my body. So I ran the test on the 1st of August, 2014. So I have that date stuck in my head. I ran the test when I came back from work in the bathroom, peed on his stick and it was positive that I waited to surprise my husband. I think I put the test inside a book. He normally would and gave him the book. He was just giving me this thing. Like, what was this? Like? Open it. So when he opened it, I saw the test. He just screamed out and we hugged ourselves and all that because it's something we were planning towards and luckily it happened the next month. So it was an exciting experience. The whole family was happy, something we all prayed for. I was very, very excited. Like, I had this feeling when I just busted out singing praises to God because it was something I really wanted. I was excited and same with my spouse too. He was very, very excited. Everybody was happy because it's something we prayed for. Like I said earlier, it's something we prayed for. And it came knocking and Michelle, my mother-in-law was jumping, my father-in-law was um, happy. I know how you even told my husband, make sure you don't touch her for the next two months. <laughs> I know that he was very, very happy. I experienced basically all of them. I had um, I had moments where I busted out crying for irrelevant reasons. Like I could watch a comedy um, clip and I'm crying instead of laughing. There are times I overreacted to slight issues or at times I just asked myself like what the hell did I just do or say and there are times where I felt like eating odd things like could wake up in the middle of the night ask husband my husband to prepare something for me and at the end of the day I end up not eating it I had um sometimes I craved to lick we all know Agbalomo the unripe one like i don't look for the ripe one i look for the unripe one i just love that sour taste in my mouth so sometimes i ask myself like what am i eating you know what do i really want and apart from that okay there are times i felt nauseous i really didn't vomit or go through all those um very traumatic um symptoms some women had they had they hydrated and all that i didn't go through all those i know there are times i felt like throwing up but could count number of times I tried trouble like two or three times throughout my whole nine months. It was stressful during the um, later stage of pregnancy, like the third trimester, where most times you don't even want to stand up from the bed because you're really tired. But you have to force yourself because you need to go to the hospital and I need to go to work. So there are um, I would say in the hospital, I had no option than to like my doctor because he's really the person that was monitoring my journey with me and I had no option. Yes, I was comfortable with him, but um, not really, because the hospital I used wasn't really the hospital I wanted, but because of um, the distance, I had to register somewhere close to the house and close to my place of work and all that. Well, our advice to the home to look out for when looking for a good hospital, a good doctor, is to ensure the man, the doctor rather, is a consultant, not just a guy in your life. And sure, he's a consultant, someone that has more experience. So, in case there are complications which we don't pray for, he'll be um, able to handle it. I was advised by the doctor to mind what I eat, to um, calculate the number of calories taken because any calories I take, um, the baby also takes it just to avoid having a, a baby whose weight is more. I just ensured I. I was mindful of what I was eating. I ate more fruits, vegetables. Um, the thing is, we both wanted a female child. Like my husband, right growing up, he never had a sister. <clears throat> and I've always wanted to have my first child to be a girl, like to have a mini me or something. So when I did my second scan at five months, that was when I found out I was having a boy. As in, I was kind of devastated. He felt bad. 
but we just accepted the fact that that's what life taught us. So really, we had to take it. And my mom also encouraged me when she um, just like snapped and said, "What well, exactly is your problem? Like everybody prays for a birth child as the first. You have yours and you're complaining." So I just child because. I'm not really bringing in the male or female child, but I know I always, even when I went shopping, I bought some female clothes. <laughs> so, thinking, this can't be wrong or something. So, I bought female clothes. So, when I gave back, I started giving them out. So, but um, I'm thankful I had had my son. I won't trade him for anything. When I found out I was pregnant, definitely when I started showing, you know, most times in our society, everybody automatically names you Yabiji. Like, you're going anywhere, a random person can just walk up to you and say, Ah, Yabiji, I small, small. How are the twins doing? And you have to smile and randomly greet somebody you've never met before. And I'll always say, when you're pregnant, it comes with, everybody is concerned about you. That's how the society has been. Like, everybody is concerned. You're in a queue. Everybody, somebody's telling you, please, madam, don't queue. Just go and you get attended to and all that. And there are even sometimes I've been system. no, don't worry, I'm fine. Like, let me just join the queue and all that. So follow due process. Then around me, my family and all that, I would say it's just the show of empathy. You just feel this feeling that everybody is concerned about you that even if you're eating something somebody can just walk up to you and tell you i'm not supposed to eat this thing you're pregnant it's not good like all the mites and all that i would say it all depends on um number one the hormones and it also depends on the stage of pregnancy you are like during your first trimester you really one of the symptoms you have is fatigue like you're very tired so at that point sex is not in your mind from when you get your, your like when the um money sickness kicks in and all that sex is really not in your mind but when you get to second trimester that's when you really want to okay experiment and all that and the hormones they would just to me it was just there just the normal way i really didn't have any experience like i said it's for me i know there are some women out there that had um high increase and all that but my my second trimester that was when i really okay i got my groove on and all that but the third one i was always tired like you're very heavy i was in labor for 48 hours it started i think my water broke on the day i had my appointment on the first day and i had to go to the hospital the doctor told me to run some scan to resolve um the level of which i lost water or something because it wasn't even my edd yet I know. So I ran some scan. The water was okay, but I had to be uh, monitored. So I was admitted in the hospital. So it basically didn't start. Like I didn't have all, all those pains at home. It was in the hospital. I was there for four days. Then the Sunday, I just got tired of staying there. Like, please, doctor, discharge me. No, the Saturday, like, just discharge me. Let me go. And I had exams that day in school. So the doctor said, okay, I'll discharge you in the next month if nothing happens. Then in the middle of the night, labor started. Labor started Sunday morning. Then that was when I saw the show. Like, we were thought in our teenager class. Um, then it started progressing. Then at the point, I was induced because the labor wasn't coming up as expected and all. So I was induced. The pain started. I was dilated to 7 p.m. And just from 7 to 10, the doctor said my baby was in position. No, a lot of complications came up and all that. Uh, definitely I had to be wheeled to the theater. So at that point, I had some issues with the hospital. Like the doctor wasn't around. The said doctor was in his house. So at the point I got tired, my husband just referred me, oh, to, oh, let's go to another hospital. And I was referred to another hospital where I did the CS and gave back to my son on the 14th of um, April 2015 going through hell alone like it's like a pain that only you can experience at that point nobody else like you can't explain it but it was hell it's a reality like I know when I gave birth um, I met a woman who's been in labor for seven days like when I went to the hospital there was a woman she was pregnant with twins she was in labor for seven good days like <laughs> i really forgot to imagine what the woman went through what her body went through i know but thankfully she gave birth during my stay in the hospital like when i was being monitored and all 
she gave birth then mine was for 48 hours that's long some people normally they'll tell you once you're from 5 cm to 10 cm she didn't take 30 to 1 hour and all that some people just come into the hospital they're fully dilated and secondly it, it definitely has to do with the your um the child you're carrying like if it's your first child you're more likely to spend more time in the hospital spend more time in labor than the second child I would say um, pregnancy, childbirth, and motherhood is something that is very worth it. It's something that, although at first you always feel um, bad, you feel during the period when you're pregnant and you're having a lot of hormones raging inside you and all, but at the point where you hold your baby in your arms, you actually know all those pains, all those sleepless nights, all those. Um, symptoms and all is really worth it it's motherhood is something you should experience yourself not really something you should be told about and i know every woman out there at one point or the other will go through it and i would say the love the bonding um, with your child is something you can't even compare like looking at the into the eyes of your child is something like it's you even seeing the joy that okay this child really came out from me and how god really <laughs> created everything that like you had this amazing baby in your arm and watching your baby call you mom as in going through all every face like from crying to walking talking and all it's really something worth experiencing and i pray we all experience it at one point in time support system i had an amazing support system while i was in labor like my husband was there with me all through the 48 hours for every step of the way he was there of which i'm really grateful for and the best thing about being a mom is having this um this joy inside you that you love this little woman being in your arms and you have someone to call your mom like that joy even the first day your child called your mom like there will be this way um you'll be so happy you can't even explain it like it's it's wonderful it's very very wonderful it's something it's mind-blowing it's something i would want every woman out there to experience at one point in time it's one word for those being pregnant that keep pushing very soon you have a baby in your arm and what i have to tell those trying to conceive i know and i can imagine the pain of always doing your pregnancy test and it comes out negative just keep trusting god and very soon you rejoice and i know the journey is something to be very smooth for you and you have to imagine yourself like you don't even need to t hear me tell you you imagine the joy yourself you experience the joy yourself of having your baby in your arms motherhood is a very interesting journey and um, being a mom has been um it had its challenges there are days um, you're in the hospital with your child because he's running temperatures there are days you can't sleep at night because your child is ill there are days where you share the laughter the joy the anger the frustrations yes it's very frustrating that's the truth but there are days that you really in your heart thank god for bringing this child your way it, there are days you have to read about information concerning parenting there are days you have to remind yourself that you're a mother and you have somebody looking up to you in any decision you're making so it's it's really worthwhile i'm still learning <laughs> i try to read books on parenting to be a better mom for my son and it's been a wonderful experience uh, my advice to other moms out there is parenting is not something you do in a day something that's continually even when your child is an adult you keep being a parent so just for us to put them in prayers but really without god there's really even if you imbibe everything you need to imbibe in the life of that child it's really god that directs their path so i think we just need to put god in our parenting skills yes the books about parenting try to um every child has has different um, issues like if we have a very um, active child this child can be quiet there are different ways to every child so just for you to know which one works for which and we got on our side we know we scale through